Hey everyone, it's Unishek here with the second video of my summer spree where I try and bring you a video every single day this summer. And let's kick it off. I'm playing Team Infinity Slayer and Multi-Team on Solace. I kick it off with two horrendous grenades and then I just take out Fun Mary. I pushed on this base because I knew that a sniper rifle spawns on the base and what better weapon to have on Solace than a sniper. Right there I was crouching and trying to hide my actual position from the enemy team that's trying to push on me and now I'm just trying to scare him off with a pulse grenade as my teammate Chad works his way over and now we're only down one kill it's no big deal this early in the game and now you see us pushing I pre-fire on sergeant and then I jump out for a quick scope as me and Chad both try and pressure on double team that last guy and it worked out very well so now I push up and try and peek out and get a few kills while up sniping because you know Sniper on this map up on this perch is just absolutely incredible and I get a nice triple kill. So next thing to do is probably check my back if I can't get a multi kill and I don't get the overkill so I'm going to try and push back and make sure we hold this base. So this is going to be the spot to hold. You're going to try and hold a base in multi team because you want to limit as many angles to be shot from. You don't want to get shot from everywhere and holding a base like this really cuts down a bunch of the angle and you'll see everyone gets a lot more deaths than us it's just brilliant to have a base anyways we're moving on I almost get flanked by this guy on the respawn behind me this is the bit worst thing to happen while you're in uh, up on the sniper perch is to have them spawn behind you but luckily I Leroy Jenkins at them and they're not really expecting it so that worked out very well for me it was a pretty risky move but anything I had to do was going to be risky if I ran out into the open I could have been shot from anywhere here you see me flank around because I saw this guy on radar luckily for me he had a sniper so now I have a sniper I knew I had him outmatched with a uh, speed boost and a shotgun who any gun he had unless it was like a rocket or something but now I've regained this base control I see Chad's on the left alone and I'm gonna try and push because I saw those guys on radar so I'm, I just got the initial shot there to try and weaken him in case Chad could get a shot on him and then I just finished him off with a second shot. Here I just double back, boom, killed the beast one. You're all right, kid. And look across the map with some nice headshots and missed two. Could have been hits, but no scope for the triple makes it all better. And then boom, no, uh, almost a no scope with the shotgun. I get the kill with the shotgun, and now I'm falling back so I don't get shot across the map by anyone. Pick up the overshield. And now me and Chad have devised the setup. We finally agreed that he'll stay behind me and cover the entire back and prevent a spawn behind me. And I'll try and kill everyone else else outside the map that's not in our zone. So right here I'm going to just get a nice kill again. A couple kills. And I should be falling back because Chad needs help. Yeah, I come back. See this guy on radar and I'm just crouch walking to hide my specific position, but then he called in a Promethean vision thing, so I knew I had to act quick before he got a full awareness of the entire situation, and I just jumped at him with the shotgun. Here I dropped the shotgun, two shots left uh, to pick up a railgun, and it was the right choice because there was like six shots in this, five shots in the railgun, and now I've got seven kills left in the game. Boom, nice quick scope, nice no scope, and then I miss just barely on the triple and I'm gonna fall back because I saw that guy head over here and he's cutting now to the left so I just peek around give him a nice rail gun and I drop no oh, I got one more snipe I figure why not try and snipe someone for one of the last kills I that's probably a risky move I should just stay play it safe with the battle rifle and make sure I don't die because if you hadn't noticed I haven't died yet and you're about to see a railgun across the map for my invincible perfection. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Please leave it a like or a comment if you enjoyed it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.